Tripping the Light Ekphrastic, presented by the Mississippi Poetry Society. What in the world is ekphrastic? Well, the term comes from the Greek word ekphrasis, which means to describe in detail. Some authorities describe it as a poetic device, while others describe it as a poetic form. A device is something which is used within a poem, while a form is something that is the entire poem. An ekphrastic work is written in response to some other art form, usually a visual one, such as a sculpture or a painting. It may describe how the art makes the poet feel, what it reminds them of, or the story it suggests to them. Ekphrastic verse may also be written in response to verbal art, such as another poem, a song, or a story, although not all experts agree on this use. So how old is ekphrastic poetry? Well, one of the first ekphrastic verses was part of Homer's Iliad, written in about the 8th century BC. That's pretty old. Homer describes the shield carried by Achilles within that volume, and he goes on about it for 130 lines or more. That must have been some impressive shield for him to go on about it for so long. Other famous uses of ekphrastic poetry include Ode to a Grecian Urn by John Keats and an opening section in Moby Dick by Herman Melville. One a verse, one a book, but both using ekphrastic devices. So is all ekphrastic work old? No. Ekphrastic poetry will be as modern as the moment you write it. Look at the world around you and describe it as well as you can, as much detail as you can. Ask yourself, what do I see when I look at this? What does it make me feel? What does it make me think? What does it make me wonder about? These and other questions can then lead you to write down those thoughts. And suddenly you have written an ekphrastic work. Ekphrastic devices will work within any poetic structure metered or not, rhyming or not, short or long, serious or silly. It can be a whole poem or part of a poem. It's a great tool. Take a look at an example of how a visual medium can inspire an ekphrastic verse. Many people are familiar with the Blue Dog art by George Rodrigue, but in the Best Off Sculpture Garden at the New Orleans Museum of Art, there's a three-sided sculpture based on the Blue Dog. One is yellow, one is red, keeping their Blue Dog company. As I looked at these, it inspired me to wonder about the multiple personalities of the Blue Dog. I thought I knew you, Blue Dog. In art books you reside. In calendars and souvenirs for sale you're known to hide. But in the sculpture garden, I see you're not so mellow. You have a flaming red aspect. Another is bright yellow. These different faces prompt me to ask you to decide. 
Are you a cool or bright dog or a hot dog deep inside? Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed Tripping the Light Ekphrastic, presented by the Mississippi Poetry Society.